How to build business credit as a sole proprietorship. Are you a solopreneur, meaning you're all by yourself in your business, but you still want to build business credit? You absolutely can. Whether you're a one person show, a 10 person show, or you have hundreds of employees, you literally can build business credit, get business funding in your business's name, and in many cases, you don't even have to use your social security number. In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to build business credit and how to get it done fast. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three simple steps on how to build business credit. I'm gonna share with you how to do it even if you have no employees, no contractors, and it's just you all by yourself doing your thing. And I'm gonna share with you the biggest trap that you need to avoid so that you don't mess this up. So the first thing that you need to know is you literally can build business credit. Business credit is different from personal credit. You may already have heard about Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax Business, and Experian Business. Those are the three business credit bureaus, and they are different than the personal credit bureaus, which are TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Those three bureaus will report on all of your personal credit trade lines, if you have a credit card or a mortgage or things like that, but on the business credit profile, they are two separate separate credit bureaus and they will not report any personal credit. They will only report business credit and business credit trade lines for businesses. Therefore, any business can actually start building business credit and get business funding. There's no discrimination as to what race, what gender, what age, none of those things matter. You literally, if you have a business, you can start building business credit and you can even get business funding in your business's name. So let me share with you how you get that done because you literally can start today. So of the three business credit bureaus, Dun & Bradstreet is the number one business credit reporting agency. They are the longest, they've been around the longest, they're the biggest, they report the most businesses through Dun & Bradstreet and you can get a Dun & Bradstreet profile absolutely free. You literally just go to dnb.com and if your business is already registered with the Secretary of State, you can actually search and in many cases you will find your business right there and you can just claim your business. They will mail you a code to verify that you actually are the owner of that business. Once you receive that code in the mail, you will go back to Dun & Bradstreet's website, punch in that code and now your business is completely verified. That's the easy way, again, if your business is already found in Dun & Bradstreet. However, if you have a new business that you've set up and you haven't gotten an LLC or S Corp or a C Corp with the Secretary of State, I strongly suggest that you do that because this is going to be how you get found and how you actually have a real business that can be found by all of the business credit bureaus. So. If you have to get your LLC first, for example, you will get that LLC registered with the Secretary of State. You'll get that EIN, which is Employer Identification Number. You can get that absolutely free by going to irs.gov. Again, absolutely free, putting a little screenshot of it right here. You can do that in just minutes and get your EIN letter online. You don't have to wait. And then you can actually get started and go to Dun & Bradstreet's website the same day to put your business in there and then claim it and do what I said with the, the mailing you that number. Now, once you're inside Dun & Bradstreet, you actually have a business credit profile. Congratulations, it's really that simple. Now, let's talk about how you'll get some trade lines added to that business credit report so that you can get tons of money in your business's name. There are three easy ways to add trade lines to your Dun & Bradstreet credit report. You literally can go to three different companies that we have used for many, many years. And in fact, we have an entire list that you can get just by going to noelsfreegift.com. I have an entire list of companies that you can buy things from that report to the business credit bureaus. But the three that I like and have worked for many, many years for me and my students are Granger, G-R-A-I-N-G-E-R, Granger.com. Quill, Q-U-I-L-L, -L, and Uline, U-L-I-N-E. 
These three companies all report to the business credit bureaus and you can buy something as little as $50, okay? You have to spend a minimum of $50. And again, you can buy paper, you can buy laundry detergent, you can buy a mop. They have all different types of things that, they, yet that you need and you could even use it in your household, but you have to spend a minimum of $50. And in many cases, they will give you an invoice where you don't have to pay it for 30 days. This is called a net. 30. Now, once you get established, you literally will pay that invoice and then that will report as a trade line on your credit report. If you do all three that I just said, that's three trade lines right there that you can have on your business credit report. And again, if you need more companies, go to noellesfreegift.com and get that list of the businesses that report so that we can help you get even more trade lines on your business credit profile. The next thing after you have those three trade lines, you can actually start applying for store credit cards. There's places like Dell, Best Buy, Walmart that literally have business accounts and they report to the business credit bureaus. And once you have those three trade lines, now you can get store credit cards in your business's name and those two will report to your business credit profile. Once you have the vendor trade, trade lines, which I said, Granger, Quill, and Uline, then you get store credit cards. Then the last one is cash credit cards. Literally, you can start getting credit cards from Chase Bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and so many other banks. Pretty much every bank that you go get a business checking account at, you can also get a business credit card. And in many cases, those credit cards will report to the business credit agency and you will build even more business credit. Again, in your business's name, all you have to do is make sure that you're paying all of these cards on time and that you are not messing up your business credit. The great thing about business credit is that they are not looking to see how much money you spend. They are looking to see that you are able to make those payments. So long as you're able to make the payments and you always make your payments on time, you literally can grow your business credit faster than you could personal credit. Because in many cases, they will double and triple your limits after just six months. This is not happening on the personal credit side, but it does happen on the business credit side because the goal of business credit is to help businesses grow their business. And so the lenders give more money to those businesses and actually try to help you grow your business by giving you more funding if, they're, if you're able to prove that you can make the payments. As a bonus, another amazing thing that you can do to build business credit is to get a physical office. So many times people will have their business at their home address or you might use a virtual address. However, you can use a virtual address and still get lots of business funding, but you need to have the physical part of that business address, of that virtual office. So places like Opus, for example, or Regis, they will have a physical office and that you not only receive mail at, you can actually rent one of the offices and you can get American Expresses, you can get those US bank business cards, you can get higher limits if you have a physical address for your business. Again, you don't have to do this, but it is an easy way to get way more money in business funding if you have a physical address that is not your home address for your business. If you are needing help with getting business credit, you need to reach out to my friend, Justin Merch with Justin Merch Consultant. Many years ago, Justin Merch and his company, Creative Credit Solutions, helped me fix my personal credit. Now, Justin Merch is an amazing entrepreneur and he is an expert in business credit and business funding. So if you have issues with your personal credit, he can help, but more importantly, he can help you build business credit and get business funding right away. In fact, he helped someone last month get $75,000 and business funding after just one week. Literally, you want to call Justin Merch Consultant, use the link below, tell them that Noel Randall sent you, and you will get a free consultation where they can help you identify what it is that you're trying to do and give you the way to get there. They are an amazing resource. He knows so much about business credit and about personal credit, and again, he is a nice and friendly person that has helped Noel Randall out, so I am confident he can help you too. Use the link below, go to Justin Merch Consulting, and get your business credit and business funding started today. I just want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle, to your success.